Hi, I'm Chris Vandersnell, and I'm a broker associate with the Corcoran Connection. I worked for a residential developer and commercial developer for 13 years. I've had my license for eight years. I just transitioned full-time to real estate in October of 2019, and it was one of the best decisions I've made. I've always been interested in real estate and houses, and I've always had a passion for helping people and this was one way that I could join both of those together. Um, I've worked recently with some first-time home buyers and their excitement is contagious and it's fun to teach them the process because it's not just a search on the internet and get approved for a mortgage. It's more of, okay, how old is the air conditioner? Is the roof in good shape? you know, and, and those type of things that you don't think of when you're excited about buying a house. So I try and ground them a little bit, but I also get some of their excitement and it, it's fun to watch. I've actually helped um, a couple of out-of-town investment owners um, who have decided to sell in this market right now, and I've lined up vendors to do repairs, to do painting, carpet repair, and I just update the owners every couple of days. This is what's on the schedule. This is what's done. You know, here's payment information. How can I help you? You know, facilitate that payment. Let's make sure everybody stays on track. It also gives them a sense of comfort knowing that vendors aren't like, oh, they're out of town. I can just do this and send the invoice because I show up, I watch what they're doing. Um, one house we just had a roof done I showed up three different times during the day and the roofers were kind of like okay somebody's watching us you know we can't just do this job and get done it has to be done right so it's a comfort level for our sellers to know that somebody is there watching on their behalf one thing that I try and do as much as possible I get up between 5:30 and 6 in the morning I have my coffee, I play some games on my phone, do some reading, and then, you know, I start my day by 7, 7.15, you know, following up with emails to clients, you know, checking on progress of stuff that's happening, looking for searches for buyers that we're still working on. Um, then about 9, 10 o'clock, I start um, setting up my son for treatment because we do home dialysis, and that process takes about three hours so usually in that time I'm at my desk doing paperwork or stuff sometimes sitting with him and then the afternoons uh, when we're done I can go out and show houses or do you know more paperwork and stuff and even one time Blair said to me he's like mom you don't just work eight hours you work like 16 hours sometimes you know sometimes he gets up in the morning at 7 I'm sitting at my desk and you know at 11 o'clock at night I'm still sitting at my desk but that's the nature of real estate because you have to work when your clients need you to work not just what you want to work. I've been here since 2004 so actually almost 16 years in August it's really exciting to see how we're growing um, from our Harmony original as I used in my last video, you know, I still, my heart is here in the original part of Harmony. Um, you know, I've lived in eight different houses here, all on different streets. So, you know, I keep trying until I found the right one, which I think I've found my right one now. I'm also involved in an outreach program, A Place for Grace in St. Cloud. I've been on the board of directors for about eight years and been involved since its inception in my neighbor's garage. We used to just make food and take it out and collect clothes and, you know, go out and visit with the homeless people. And then we started doing uh, Saturday night meals at the VFW. And then we started to outgrow that. And our co-founders invested in a building in St. Cloud. And so now we have a thrift store. We have programs. We have a GED program. We have uh, back to work programs. We have counselors who will help you not hand you out what you need, but to help you learn how to stay on your feet, how to stay on top of your bills. So it's not necessarily a hand out, it's a hand up. And we really try and strive to do that so we're not being part of the toxic cause of you being homeless. We're giving you the steps to be able to move forward and to 
get on a better footing and stay within that home that you get or make sure your children are fed or clothed and it's just a wonderful place that I've been involved with for a long time.